Hello again, this is Glenn with Asylum 7 Studios, and welcome back to our series on completing a, a, creating a complete website from design to deployment in Drupal 8. And in the last video, we set up a few, uh, three breakpoints and a default mobile-first um, workflow for getting this website to work properly on the various devices that we're going to be targeting. So the first thing that I'm going to do in this is remove this base layout entirely so that we have everything laid out in a single column. And I'm going to remove all of this. And this way we've still got our vertical separation so everything still looks good. Um, well, that's uh, subjective, but everything still looks usable. And we'll start with a smaller, more manageable layout here. So let's just say for this particular layout, let's jump back into our settings. And we're still going to use a 12 column grid for now. We can set individual column layouts later. But let's just switch this container back to 98% of the device width. And I think that's going to work a bit better as we start designing this to be mobile first. So the first thing I want to take a look at is this site header. Uh, let's set the figure to be, to span all 12 columns and be nested. And it helps if I actually write include. Okay, so now we've got the, the 12 column span on that. For the default, and let's see. I would really think that should be centered. Let me double check this again. Let's say, let's go back to 960 pixels in the container for just a moment. Yeah, and that doesn't appear to be working exactly like I'd like it to. So, um, let me see if I can figure out how to do this properly. Uh, okay, so after a few head-scratching moments, uh, I, I won't include that, it was rather painful. Um, I determined that I have an inline element that I was not uh, aligning properly. Um, so uh, you guys won't have any idea what I'm talking about because I won't be including that section in the video, but uh, let's just uh, do it the right way here. So the first thing I'm going to do is include our show outline mix in for the site header just so that we can see everything. And we know that on smaller device sizes, we want the logo to be centered at the top and we want the navigation to display below that. So the first thing I'm going to do is come down here to where I have the site header and I'm going to look at the nav and tell it that I want to include clear fix. And that should, uh, it, it won't do anything just yet, but it will make a difference. And I'm going to take the site logo that I have here. I'm going to move it into the site header section just for clarification. And the first thing I'm going to do is on the site header, I want to text align everything center. And uh, I'm not sure where I've left the uh, container. I have the container set to auto, and that's fine for now. Um, but that will align our logo nicely in the center of the page at all these various device widths. And again, this is mobile first, so we'll lay everything out in the, the standard way and one of our later breakpoints. So next, let's take a look at this list. And we really, really want to remove the styling, uh, the margin, and the padding from the unordered list and the list items will have 
a list style of none. It will be, we're going to keep the block display for the list items. Um, and we're actually going to add display block to the anchors so that they expand the full width of the list items. And let's just give these a bit of padding. Uh, 0.2m should be good for now. Let's, uh, no, actually, let's bump that up just a little bit so that it's easier to uh, use for navigation. And I'm going to add a margin top to this unordered list of 1m0, 1m, uh, oh no, I'm going to leave the bottom margin off. So we have a top margin of 1m and no margin below that. And this section will actually be accessible via a little hamburger menu icon. It'll display at that point. Um, but for now, I'm going to go ahead and just remove this outline and comment the margin. I'm not going to remove it. I'm just going to comment it for now and set the navigation to display none to get it out of our way for the moment because we don't want this to display at all on smaller devices. Next, let's take a look at some of the other sections on the website. The uh, search bar in the aside, we would like to move that up, um, possibly as a part of the navigation here. But since I'm not sure just what to do with it just yet, uh, I'll leave it for now. The Twitter feed is not necessarily something that I want to have displayed on the, the main page on a small layout. So I'll just say um, site primary content aside. And I'm not sure what I called this class. Um, it's a uh, Twitter feed. Oh, oh, convenient. So, uh, dot Twitter feed display none. And that should be gone. Uh, let's refresh the live preview again. It may have stopped on me. No? Oh, uh, that would help. Okay, so taking a look at the footer, um, I'd like to hide the off-site contact as well as this contact form. So let's just go into dot site footer. Um, let's see what we name these sections. Um, I have site footer off-site contact. And again, let's set that to display none. And we'll do the same thing for site footer contact. And neither of those sections are very suited to a mobile layout. And since we're very limited on the, the space and size that we have to work with, I think that should do nicely. So, that is our base mobile layout. And in the next video, we're going to start working on getting things to line up a bit better on the, the next um, breakpoint upward. So, uh, this is Glenn with Asylum 7 Studios, and we'll see you in the next one.